Oh, fuck. How, how the fuck are you? You's doing it. Okay, come on. Shh. Shit. Calm down. Fuck. I've got a bit of a... Got a bit of a headache. I may or may not be hungover. Probably leaning towards the may, then, then the may not. Oh, shit. Gotta fucking take a baraka. So, you know, uh, I, got a, I got a video for you, but I think I'm up to that stage now with 4,000 subscribers. I think I'm up to the stage where I can sit back and let some other cunt take over for a bit. All right, roll the music. Who, 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 who do we have? Who we got? Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. Roll music. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Mara. When I accepted Rory's offer to be in his video, I didn't actually realize what a bigoted jackass he is who only lets other animals be on his channel. What? No. No, maybe. So here I am in fucking cat ears and whiskers just to keep this cunt happy. Oh, wow. Nice. Bearing approved. Oh. Wait, that doesn't work, doesn't it? Thank fuck I have a drink to get me through this shit. <sighs> I feel like a cheap whore. But you you look like an expensive whore, which is what counts. I can already tell that this video is going to be fucking painful. Painful like a fox. Ha! <laughs> Fine, let's look at this shit. How do you feel about non-binary cunts? I'll give you an example. This cunt. I'm Charlie and welcome to Queer Talk. Yay, Charlie Queer Talk. Wow, couldn't fucking half tell that you're queer, buddy. I'm just gonna kind of talk today about how being non-binary feels. This kid looks so fucking shifty. He's walking around the street recording himself, looking over his shoulder every 10 seconds. I fucking know, what the fuck? He's like, oh, dad dropped me off around the corner. I don't want him to fucking know that I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, mate, he already knows you're a fucking idiot. I bet you you've got a fucking hidden life online that you don't want anyone to fucking know about. So I don't just kind of go around thinking about how gosh darn neutral I am. It's sort of a thing that I get reminded of. Because everything's saying like, for men or for women reminds me that I'm not one of those. The reason that everything says for men or for women is because men and women are the fucking norm. Mara, Mara, can you remember when you were a teenager? Fuck. Just put yourself in their shoes. Yeah, yeah, there was there was no norm. All you could do is sit in your room fucking flogging your meat. And I don't I don't know what you I don't think you have any meat to flog. That's what I did. Yeah, go, you go. You go on. Less than 1% of the population is even fucking trans and I'm still not even convinced that non-binary actually exists. Yep, good. Pretend like you didn't hear me say an embarrassing thing. Good. It's professional. I like that. Ah! What? Fuck! Jesus Christ! Fucking stop out of nowhere! I just want to take a moment to tell you, Rory, I fucking hate you. All right, this could have been this could have been saved for after the video, but uh, okay, I I hate you too. <laughs> oh, why do you make me do this shit? I, ah! Hey, you're getting paid handsomely for this, fucker. Jesus Christ, I ain't get paid shit for this. Oh, we didn't pay. Oh, she's a girl. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh. Forgot there for a second, we don't pay women. I imagine it feels a little bit like when you go into a souvenir shop and you're trying to find your name and you can never find your name. Like no one ever sells anything with your name on it. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. Fucking souvenir shops, like, because we're all fucking rich and we go on holidays everywhere. Fucking hell, look at your designer glasses, you cunt. Your fucking blue hair. Did mummy fucking buy you the hair dye, did she? You fucking tell her why? Huh? Huh? No. She doesn't know why. 
Fuck. I don't even understand this analogy. You're comparing to not being either male or female to not being able to find your name on a keychain. Haven't you sailed around the world on your mummy and daddy's yacht and you've gotten off on the Poconos and you go into the frickin' souvenir shop and aren't you pissed they don't have a specific bear with your fucking name on it? Oh, you just don't understand, Mara. In this instance, you just can't change your name. What do you do? You get a nickname that doesn't really suit you, I guess. Oh, no, buddy, your nickname is fucking spot on. Charlie the fucktard. That's it's pretty spot on. It's pretty legit. Charlie the fucktard. Hey, Charlie the fucktard. Oh, oh, hey, Charlie fucktard. No, no, it's Charlie the fucktard. Ha! Huh. You gotta get the the, otherwise I think you're talking about other people. When things are marketed towards male and females, and you are neither and both at the same time, that means that you just pick and choose whatever the hell you want. Did you say Pikachu? The bitch said Pikachu. So you are literally comparing having twice the option to having no option. Fuck this, I need another drink. No, oh, dude. Don't say that. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hangover. Motherfucker. <coughs> hey, that's not ladylike. <laughs> and like, almost all the people that I pass on the streets will fit the gender binary and like, I, I don't. So I feel this kind of... Is that a fucking goose in that tree? What the fuck? It is too! What the fuck? Only in the fucking posh suburbs. Holy shit. The local wildlife. It's kind of good being non-binary though, because you don't get as much of that social pressure to be the perfect kind of epitome of beauty for a man or a woman. This just fits the theory that a lot of these people just hate themselves and instead of trying to better themselves, just invent something to make them okay. But that's, that's nothing fucking new. Like, ten years ago, there were fucking emos, emos, as far as the eye can fucking see. And then, you know, ten years before that, there were the fucking goths. And ten years before that, they were hula hoops. Obviously, um, I, I'm, I'm just speculating ten years before that one. Society tries to put the standards of beauty on you, but they're not quite sure which one to do. So you just kind of go by your own rules. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck! I go by my own rules too, pretty much. If it gets me laid, it's good. If it doesn't, it's bad. It's kind of why I dress like a whore half the time. And I know that's not exclusive to non-binary people, but it's kind of easier to forget all that when you don't fit either of the ones that they're trying to force on you. Yeah, and you're also fucking awesome at parties. Hey, uh, have you met Charlie? Yeah, Charlie is a, a sad sack who's gonna fucking explain to you the androgyny of Charlie. Who who knows? Do you, do you, do you want a girl to come over and talk to you? Do you want a boy to come over and talk to you? Do you suck a dick or do you eat a puss? Tell me, Charlie. Tell me. Oh, I don't want people to know because they don't like confirming. Yeah, fucking someone dack him. If we dack him, we'll fucking find out. So I just get to kind of be ambiguously cute. Does making me want to pinch your cheeks count as ambiguously cute? I mean, I wouldn't fuck you, but I would give you a pat on the head. Does that count? Aim for that and I'm good. It's interesting to being among queer folk, being non-binary. Yeah, half the people have no idea what you're talking about, so you explain it like usual. Rory, I am honestly beginning to wonder if you hate me for making me have to sit through this. Because the deeper I delve into non-binary genders, the more I think I'm going to be an alcoholic by the end of this video. I have no idea where I am. And as with a lot of things for us, you have to kind of understand when someone's just not gonna get it like my grandma for instance she tries really hard with stuff like that but i can't see her ever actually getting a hold of like they pronouns oh charlie's a they rory you're not doing your job you're supposed to tell me this shit before i make an ass out of myself <sighs> you really are a cunt i'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff i could be telling you right now i just can't remember any of it yeah so this was just a little chat video um, I'm happy to answer questions about this in 
you know, the comments or on my Tumblr. Of course he has a fucking Tumblr. Fuck, I said he again. I love how all the jump cuts make it look like he's been teleporting. Maybe that's his gender. <laughs> he's a teleporter. <laughs> Oh, I wish I was non-binary. Oh, and look, she fucking teleported out of here. God damn it. I'm pretty sure she's non-binary. Because apparently I'm like, non-binary fucking people can teleport. Hey, I should become non-binary. That'd be fucking sweet. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me. And if you got time, go over to Mara Jane's YouTube channel and give her a subscribe. She's a cool bird, doing cool things, and she's a mum. Let's support mums. Milf, 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 milf. Alright, I'll see you later, fuckers.